Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're continuing with organizing slash maybe decluttering. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't have a plan. I just know that I need to fit some products into these drawers. So this is my foundation slash skin tint slash concealer slash primer. <laughs> basically complexion drawer and I have to fit in these three products in here that were from my new makeup drawer so we're going to have to do something because right now it barely closes already and everything's a mess and yeah we'll just we'll see how this goes okay so in this drawer I actually have a like divider, you know, a drawer organizer, <laughs> not that you can tell. Um, so first I'll take like the things that are not fitting in, in that. And I even have stuff behind the organizer because that's the only place I had for it. So let's just get started. So the first thing here is my Rose Ink Soft Light Skin Smoothing Liquid Foundation in the shade 5N. Um, I do have a video on this. I didn't love it. Um, I thought I would, but I kept it because I want to try it in different ways. So I'm going to be keeping that. I'll put it over here. Um, then I have the House Labs Concealer. I don't remember what I thought about this. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep that. I have my LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation, which needs a good shake, and I hope it's still good. It's quite old. I did get this like when it launched, I think. And I have this shade LN6. I do want to revisit this, but I remember really liking it. Again from Rose Ink, this is the um, concealer. It just says, I'm sure it has a very long name on the Sephora app, but the shade is LX040. And this is, sorry, I don't even know if you saw. <laughs> This is not the right shade for my under eyes, but I did discover I like using it as a spot concealer or as like a foundation. When I say I use concealer as foundation, I mean I just put like small dots, like maybe four or five dots on my entire face. And I just like blend out areas that are, you know, red or need to be evened out. Uh, I don't use it like everywhere because that would be awful probably for my dry skin anyway uh, the L'Oreal true match nude hyaluronic tinted serum I love this I remember so I'm gonna keep that it, it looks like shimmery like more shimmery than it did before but I have the shade oh, 0.5-2 very light but I don't, I don't know if I found that very light. Um, but I'm definitely keeping that. I like to have a drugstore option. Uh, oh, here's my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter with the horrible packaging that comes off on your hands when it costs like a billion dollars. <laughs> anyway, look, oh, it's so awful. Um, I'm gonna keep this though because I do really like the formula. I use this as more like a foundation mixer like to turn a foundation more into like a skin tint to make it you know more glowy so yeah keeping that this was in my deck of panning for the Joker because it was brand new when I rolled it in and I was like Back then, the Joker card to me was like, pick something you know you won't pan. <laughs> so I picked that. But then I ended up really liking it and using it like every time I did my makeup. Um, then we have a primer. What is 
think <laughs> that's funny. I used to have my Cricut um, on this table that the camera's on and I have like little paper scraps in the drawers. Um, but this is a primer, the Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. I remember really liking this. It was in a project, I'm pretty sure. So it's looking like that. Yeah, keeping that. I just smelled it to make sure <laughs> it was still good. Um, okay, there's more stuff back here, but I can't... I'm going to have to take this whole thing out, I think. Okay, no, that's not going to work. We'll get to that later. Um, okay, so this little quadrant or section, I should say, of my organizer is supposed to be all concealer and I'm pretty sure it is but as you can see it's overflowing now um this is I think my newest concealer the Sephora best skin ever glow I did just try this in a video recently I got the shade 22 I think it's described as natural does it say anyway I did so I didn't love it at first, but as I wore it, I did end up really liking it. So I'm keeping this. Um, the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I don't think I've actually used this yet. I believe I just took this out of my new makeup drawer. Um, but definitely want to get on that. I think I want to do a full face of LYS video because I want to revisit some of their older things and then I do have like a few things that are newer to me at least. Um, this Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I love this. Keeping this for sure. I do use that as a concealer. The Glowish by Huda Beauty. I remember trying this in a video and I felt like it didn't really do anything <laughs> but I need to try it again. Um, especially with complexion products, I don't like to just do a first impression and be like, oh no, I don't want this. Because it really could depend on how your skin was doing at the time, your skin care that you put under it. Um, yeah, there's just so many factors. So I need to try things multiple times before I, I know my full thoughts on that. Um, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I do like this, but I feel like it's not very hydrating and I have to be careful with how much of it I use. But I do like to have, again, a drugstore option, so I'm keeping this. I have the shade Fair Warm, which is probably not the best shade, but anyway. Ooh, my NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I do remember really liking this, but I haven't revisited it. Revisited it? <laughs> Recently, this one is in the shade Fair. My Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I remember really liking, really loving this one too. And if I remember correctly, I use it both under eye and on the face. I have the shade Pearl, so I'm going to keep that. I should probably do the smell test on some of these because they're very old products. Ooh, this feels like it's leaking. Like the oil is coming out. But this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the shade Fair. I think I don't love this one. It smells kind of weird. This is very old. Yeah, I think this is, like, there's oil in it that's coming out. Ooh. I will need to try this again, and if I don't love it, I could declutter this one. Sorry, I had to get a baby wipe because something, yeah, that concealer is leaking. So not the best one to keep on its side. Okay, but this... Next one, the Pretty Vulgar Undercover, 
Concealer in Little White Lies. I remember, so this is very old and kind of the color, oh, <laughs> the color is not uh, blending together very well. And I remember I didn't use this for a few years and then when I did use it, I liked it. It still smells fine. I think I'm gonna keep it, but if it's not, you know, if the formula's not great anymore, I might get rid of it. But it's still, yeah, it looks good in a swatch at least. And it doesn't smell weird, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep that for now. Spoiler alert, I don't think I'm going to be decluttering much, if anything, from this drawer. Well, at, at least I should say I don't plan to, but I know I have to because the point of doing this video is to be able to fit some newer things in here. So I think that was everything for my concealers. Yeah. Oh no, I see another one right here. And by the way, there's other products in my Shop My Stash that you won't be seeing in my Organize With Me series because they're already, you know, out of my drawers. Um, but this I'm keeping, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I really like this. I have the shade Ivory. This is the Eraser Dark Circles version. And I don't know if that's because that's what it's called in the Canadian drugstore or if this is like a whole other version of the product. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. But I do like this one. Oh god. I'm already breaking things. So yeah. I'm... Yes. <laughs> what am I doing? Should I put the concealer? Okay. I'm going to put them, the ones that I know I'm keeping, I'm just going to put them back in here because that's where they go. Okay. <laughs> Is this even going to close? I don't think so. Mm. Okay. You know what? I think I'm just gonna get rid of these then. Because they're not gonna fit in here anyway. And I'm, I don't think I'm gonna miss them. I did, I think I did like both of these, at least enough to keep them in my collection, but it's time to pass them on. Yeah. So moving on to this section, this is supposed to be foundation so my house labs which is all weird and needs to be shaken and it better still be good because it cost a lot of money and it's new <laughs> but it looks like that this is the triclone skin tech foundation i have a video on this if you're interested and i have the shade light neutral yeah that better still be good Oh, this is ancient. <laughs> the Makeup Forever Water Blend. Oh my God, but I love it. I love this. It feels, okay, it's called Water Blend and it is very liquidy, but it seems to be more liquidy than it ever was. This is the shade R210, if I didn't say already. Mm. I mean, it smells like foundation. I think this shade is way too light for me. Oh, but it's so nice. It just, this is so good for dry skin. I know it doesn't even exist anymore. No, see, even on my hand, that just feels amazing. I'm keeping this, I don't care. It's probably expired. I think that's my oldest, well, my next oldest foundation, probably, after the Tarte one that's in my um, whole collection project. Um, another Makeup Forever foundation. This is the Reboot 
um, in R230. This one's probably more my shade. Um, I have a video on this also. It's one of my first videos that got a lot of views. Oh God, making a mess. It smells fine. But I don't remember loving this. So I will need to use this again. And if I don't love it, I'm okay to declutter it. I actually got this from Makeup Forever. So technically it's PR. Um, but only because, like I said in my last video, my cousin used to work there. It's not like, you know, Makeup Forever is just giving PR to people that have... Probably at the time I made that video, I had like 25 subscribers. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the reboot. Um, my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Dewy. I do remember liking this a lot. This is the shade Soft Ivory. Let me just smell it because it's getting old. Yeah, it smells fine. It smell, still smells like paint, <laughs> like it always did. So keeping that one. And then I have two powder foundations from Makeup Forever, which I guess they don't make anymore. The Matte Velvet Skin in Y215. So this is the more like leaning more, I guess yellow, because Y stands for yellow. So it's the more warm. And then the, or I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Cause then the R stands for red, I thought. And this is R220. <laughs> Every Makeup Forever product I have is a different shade. But this one is more, probably closer to my skin tone. And I have used both of these and I actually really like this. Especially considering it's a powder foundation and I have dry skin, it looks really good. So, yeah. Do I need to keep both? In the past, I've said like I would use the Y215 more in the summer and the R more in the, you know, colder months when I don't have any sun. I mean, yeah, I use both of these, so I'm going to keep them. I think. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, so that's the this little section here. Um, then over here, I know I don't need to keep these brushes in here, but even if I take them out, it's not going to help me save space because nothing else will fit in here. So this has like four little containers. So I keep this brush in here. This is a an old Aveda um, brush, but it's specifically made for powder foundation. So I use this with the Makeup Forever. That's why it's in this drawer and it's so nice and soft. I have another Aveda brush. This one I never really use. This is the Kabuki brush. Yeah, I think it used to say Aveda, but the um, the letters came off. This is a bronzer brush, so I don't know why it's in here. But again, even if I take it out, it's not like I can put a foundation in that little square. So I might as well just keep it there. And then I do have little samples um, in these ones. So this is new to me, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Box. Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the shade uh, 4 Neutral. I just got this from a Sephora order, I guess. I'm going to keep it because I do want to try it. Um, keeping this Tarte Maracuya Juicy Glow Foundation. This actually, I think I purchased. This is the mini size, which is that looks like a sample, but I'm pretty sure I bought this. Um, the shade is 24N Light Neutral. I don't know if I've used that yet. I, I must have. Actually, I'm getting confused. Maybe this is a sample and I'm thinking of something else that I bought. 
don't listen to me. <laughs> anyway, this little NARS sample. Ooh, that's looking kind of weird in there. This is the um, Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the shade Fiji. I have used this and I did kind of want to use it up because even these little samples, by the way, count as a product in my inventory. So yeah, it, it looks fine again. It just needed to be shaken. I'm gonna try, I'll try this like one more time and if I don't love it, I'm okay with just getting rid of it or I could give this to my mom probably. Yeah, let's do that. And then in here I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. I'm keeping this, I think, even though it looks, okay, you need to shake it. This is something you just like can mix into basically anything. I don't even know if this is still good because it comes out clear and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be shimmery. Hmm. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's what it's supposed, you can't see anything. That's what it's supposed to look like. I would like to use this up too. Can, is that doing anything at all? <laughs> it feels like a, um, kind of like a dry oil, you know? Like something you would put more on your body. But I know this is supposed to be for the face. At least I'm pretty sure. You like mix it into your foundation or your skincare if you don't want to wear foundation. And then I have a Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. I know I was trying to use this up <clears throat> at some point. I didn't get very far, <laughs> even though it's just a little sample and they don't make this anymore. But I remember liking this. This is like one of those smoothing kind of primers. Oh, that smells good. Okay, I'm gonna keep that and hopefully use it up. Cause I like to, <laughs> I like to have some wins, you know, when it comes to panning. If I can use up a little sample, I'm still proud of myself. So yeah, gonna keep that and see <clears throat> what I can do. I don't like how this looks, but what can I do? Then I have the, Janessa Myricks, so we're moving on <laughs> to this square or whatever. Um, the Yummy Skin in the shade 3. So that's what that looks like. It looks like I haven't used very much of it, but it's because this is something you don't need a lot of. And I have a video on this and I did like it. So I'm going to keep this. I do have the clear version now because I got it in the Sephora favorites kit um so I'll have to see but I do like this one that has like a tint to it so that I can wear it like just on its own then I have more like deluxe samples travel size things in here so I have this from Say this is the glowy super gel in star glow I am going to keep this. This is kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Not in the formula, but in the type of product that it is and what I would use it for. Um, again, I just want to use it. <laughs> I'd like to use it up. This is a newer mini to me, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've actually, I haven't used this yet, I don't think. Um, not that I really need a gripping primer in my life, but I wouldn't like to try it. I know a lot of people love this, so. Keeping that. Oh, this is very old. Becca Velvet Blaring Primer, Perfecting Base. Shade 
shaking it up. Mm, okay. Is it supposed to be peachy? Could you even see what I just did? Look. It feels nice though. I can use this up. Ooh, it feels very soft and smooth. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll keep that. The Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. This is actually a duplicate. I have the, um, I think it's a travel size or is it a full size? Anyway, we'll see it soon, I guess. But yeah, I have this already. This is a, a mini one. So this actually doesn't need to be in this drawer. I have another, I have a bag full of deluxe samples for travel that I pick from when I go anywhere, which is actually not, <laughs> not very often. But I could put that in, in there because I don't need to have a mini of the same product. So I'll put that aside. The Bobbi Brown Face Base, Vitamin Enriched Face Base, keeping, ooh, I've used quite a lot of that. I do really like this product and I would like to just use that up. The Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is still in its packaging, um, but it's very old. I remember I got this like in one of my very first boxy charms, so that's how old it is. But I do want to try it, I think. Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Do they even still make this? I feel like they would because it's their like star product. I'll keep that for now, at least to try. Um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I remember liking this a lot, I think. This is more something like up my alley for my dry skin, so I'm gonna keep that one. And then the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Radiance. This is old, very old. I'm not even sure if they still make this. It feels so far like the Becca one, but more like a moisturizing primer. I'll keep that. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, I really like primers. Um, that's why I have so many of them. So let's go back to this section. Um, this is my L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation in Ivory. I really love this. This might be one of my favorite foundations and it's from the drugstore. So yeah, keeping that. Um, back to a primer. This is the Benefit, the Professional, but the Hydrate version. I remember not really finding this very hydrating. Because it's still kind of like... It feels like a silicone primer. I mean, I should try it again, I guess. It is quite full. I got this in a boxy charm. Uh, my Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the shade four. Definitely keeping. I love this. This is one of my favorite complexion products. The Denise Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. Honestly, I forgot I had this, <laughs> and I think I have a video on it. So go back and watch that if you want to know how I felt because right now I don't remember, but I'm going to keep it because I'm sure it was very expensive. Oh, back to primers. I have two from NYX. I love the marshmallow primer, I remember. Um, yeah, keeping that. This one, have I used this yet? This is the Plump Right Back. I think I did, and I think I liked it. I'm gonna keep those. 
Um, then I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This has some good use. Well, in one area. <laughs> I think this was in a project and I did like it. So I'm going to keep that. This Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20 in the shade LG3. I think I liked this. I'm sure the SPF is expired. Oh, it expired in September. So, let's see. Oh. That looks very warm. But I remember I liked it. But now the SPF is expired. Mm. Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. This is a product that I like. Like, um, this type of product, I mean. And I could always just use, like, I wear SPF anyway, so it's not like this would be solely for the SPF factor. I think I'll keep it. I think I'll keep it. I don't know why, but <sighs> I don't know. I've. It's very hard for me to get rid of things if you haven't picked that up yet. <laughs> the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. Ooh, this is very glowy, but I think I like it. Oh, it smells kind of weird though. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it smells weird, but <laughs> It might have always smelled like that. I think I'll keep it just to try it and see, I don't know, see something with it. The, oh, this is the one I was talking about. The Rare Beauty, yeah, Illuminating Primer. So I have this one and this is not the full size. This is like the travel size. And that other one, <clears throat> this, where did I put it? This was a sample. I think from a Sephora Favorites kit. So this one has good use on it, if you can tell. I really like this. This is one of my favorite primers, so I'm definitely keeping that. But I also have her other primer, which is the Pore Diffusing Primer. But I remember liking this one too. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna keep both of those. That just fell into my garbage can, <laughs> so I have to remember to get that later. Um, oh, this nor 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 <laughs> that was very Australian. No pore blem prime essence calendula officinalis flower extract. <laughs> This is from Touch and Soul, and it expired in 2022. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's very liquidy, but it is called an essence, a prime essence. So I think it's supposed to be. I mean, it feels nice. <laughs> oh, this is not going well. Because I've mentioned this in other videos, things that don't have active ingredients in them that have expiry dates, I don't really think it means much. I think they just put an expiry date because if it goes off, they could say like, well, it's because it expired and you know, you won't get angry with them, I guess. That feels really nice. And I do, so the Touch and Soul, I do, I do really like 
this primer from them. So I kind of don't want to get rid of this one in case it's really good. And it feels nice. It feels like moisturizing. At least on my hand. I think I'm keeping that too. Plus it doesn't even take up much room. This one I really like also. <laughs> the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Yeah, I'm keeping this. I love it. Um, I do think... So for me, I have to use two pumps of this for it to feel like a hydrating primer. But I remember really liking that. And then the NYX Angel Veil. This is old. This is another like blurring, like silicone-y feeling primer. Yeah, there's polysilicone that is the fourth ingredient. Um, this is one of my oldest primers. I should put it on this hand. Oh, it feels... See, I remember liking this, but now on my hand, like compared to that last one, this feels so dry. I don't think I need this anymore. I think I've had my use on this. I've moved on to these NYX primers and I think I'm okay with passing this on. So, okay, there's one thing, <laughs> there's one thing that I'm, well, plus those two concealers that I'm okay with passing on. So now I'll take this drawer out so we can get to what's back there. Oh, geez. Okay, so back there we had a Makeup by Mario foundation. Oh, geez. This is the shade 5N. I think I have a video on this. And I think I liked it. I'm gonna keep it, of course, because it's like basically brand new. Um, this Dominique Blur and Moisture Serum Primer. I don't think I've used this, and I think this came from my new makeup drawer recently, so I'm gonna keep that because it says blur and moisture, which I like the sound of. Oh, and my Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. I really like this, so I'm keeping that too. This one is the shade 040. I have another Touch and Soul primer. This is the Icy Sherbet primer. Oh yeah, this is this one. Okay, I don't know if I've ever used this, but it's this weird texture one. Okay, I need to touch this. Oh. Oh, it is like cooling. Didn't NYX come out with this recently? This type of product, and this is like years old. <laughs> That feels nice though. Like, it doesn't feel dry. Like the angel veil feels like kind of moisturizing. I just really am intrigued by this, mostly for the texture. So I'm gonna keep this one too. And then this is the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. Oh, I remember really liking this. <laughs> this is the one that reminds me of the, the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Primer, which used to be my favorite one. I haven't repurchased it because I don't need any more primers, as you can tell. Yeah, this has that like coconutty smell and it's moisturizing and I'm keeping that. And it's not, well, at least there's no expiry date on that one. So that was everything from this drawer. 
And now, I basically need to put everything back somehow and fit in these three products, which by the way was the Laura, Gell Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer, still sealed up. The Key Soul Care Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum, which could be a skincare product, but I don't like to use things that have like shimmer in them as skincare. And then this Glossier Future Do Oil Serum Hybrid that I've decided I'm going to use as a primer. Somehow that has to fit in here. So I'm going to try and figure that out off camera and then I'll come back and show you the final results. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like this looks the same as it did before, but I'm very proud of myself because I managed to fit all the new stuff in the drawer and it is somewhat more organized than it was before so everything all the concealers are here then foundations are here more foundations <laughs> are here and then in the back i have all my primers like the ones in tubes that are just weird to fit in a drawer I have mostly skin tints in this section, but I had to put some primers there too because that's where they fit. And I put all my mini primers in this section and I managed to fit my Glossier one. And yeah, there's more stuff back there, but it fits and the drawer closes, which is all I can really ask for. <laughs> but I did have to declutter two extra things so I am going to pass on my Makeup Forever reboot because I remember, like I don't hate this, but I don't love it. And I don't think, I think this is discontinued, right? I don't know. Um, so somebody else, probably my mom, <laughs> will probably want this. And I did decide <clears throat> I don't need this um, Benefit Professional because it's not doing what I want it to do for something that says it's a hydrating primer. I still feel like it's too similar to the original Professional. But it, like I said before, it's still kind of new so somebody else can get some good use on this. And then I am going to declutter these three. I think I already said I was. The two concealers and the NYX Angel Veil. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Considering I didn't, I honestly didn't think I would declutter anything from this drawer. Um, there's still some things I would consider decluttering, but I have to try them first because I might really like them. And I don't like to get rid of things just to get rid of things. Um, so yeah, that's my complexion drawer. I know it looks very messy still, but I, I know where everything is, which is good. So I hope you like this video. I don't know what's coming next because those were, so my face palette drawer and this drawer were the only ones I had to fit things in. Um, so we'll see. I do want to do like a blush, a cream blush, not a declutter, but a collection video because that's another area where it's getting a little much <laughs> and I want to see, I want to revisit them and see the colors and you know do some comparisons so I think I might do that next but yeah so if you want to see that subscribe if you haven't already and if you like this video give it a like and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!